Hello, my name is Chris Palmer, and in today's video, I want to discuss article spinning and how to rewrite articles without using spinners. So I had a question here from Jordan, and it says, the best article spinners, but tested spinners not being promoted for money. Now, Jordan, I would never promote something that I don't personally use. I personally like to take articles and rewrite them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you my opinion first on this topic, and then I will literally show you a test that I've ran, a live test on my website that I took an article, I rewrote it, I was able to rank it, not high, but it's on page two, and this was just simply for a test. So First and foremost, I do not like to do a crude spin. Now, a crude spin is when you take an article and put it inside of a spinner to change out synonyms and other words and variations and then post it. Now, I would not post that to my money site. However, if you want to do a crude spin after you do a manual spin and you want to upload that, say, to Evernote or to Medium just to generate some traffic and see if you could get rankings, that is perfectly fine. Now, as far as article spinning, I do not prefer that over article rewriting, especially for uh, pieces of content that maybe you want as supporting content for your blog, but do not use article spinning or article rewriting for money content. So it's my opinion, it's my suggestion to you, do not use spun articles or rewritten articles for money content. However, if you want to use rewritten articles for say blog posts or supporting content or something just to keep your website fresh, that's perfectly fine. But generally, uh, rewritten content is going to be preferred over using article spinning or article spinning software or tools. So I want to go ahead and show you now that I've discussed that my preferred method is rewriting content instead of using a tool. And I want to go ahead and show you what I've done. And then I'll walk you through the process of exactly how I would do it. So uh, we have a keyword here. It's old techniques for SEO. Old techniques for SEO. I literally took the top uh, listing here. I didn't go with Moz. I went with uh, this one right here. So we'll go to that site. And then if we type in the same search and go to page number two, you will see my article here. All right. So let's go ahead and open up both of those. So they're on their number one, page one. I'm on page two, the second or third down, and I literally took the article and rewrote it. So let me just show you the differences, and then I'll show you what I did instead of using article spinning software. And this is the preferred method, but not for money content. All right. So, and it's very simple in less than 10 minutes, you could do this. So as you can see here, I took this text. All right. So search engines evolve fast. We'll go over here. Search engines advance quick. Okay. So as you can see, I just changed around the text. Um, and then as they used here, number one, number two, number three. So one was using meta keywords. So I used these jump uh, links within my text and then I added a video however number one here is using meta keywords and as you can see meta keywords and they wrote this one deserves first place there is still a lot of SEO experts who think high of metadata and then I wrote so meta keywords have made my list there are there are still a great deal of SEO specialists instead of experts as you can see uh, who consider high meta information and so I've, I've just literally taken the exact text submitting to search engines relying on h1 tags as you can see here look at h1 tags overused for better ranking page sculpting I mean I've literally gone down the list and I've just edited some of the text as we know from past SEO tests, we know that we're trying to hit 60% to not hit duplicate content. Now, with that being said, why you don't want to use this for money content is even if it's remotely close, you can pretty much guarantee, not always, that you're not going to rank on page one or number one with even manually spun content, and especially not with spun content from a tool. Now, if you want to take content 
and use it on, say, Medium or Evernote or some type of other platform. Say you do a rewrite to freshen up your blog and then you want to throw it into a free tool even just change out the synonyms and upload it to medium or another you know web 2 to get some traffic maybe to your site then that's perfectly fine but my recommendation is to do manually spin content only for your website and really steer clear of the tools unless you just want to use a free tool to spin it to upload it to a web 2 so how i went about doing this is very simple so as you can see here we had our base content and i split it up a little bit differently but it's the same exact content with different words just broken up differently and i added my own little twist to it this is an article rewrite and this is optimal to using a tool and just doing a crude spin so i literally took the text and i've already done it here and i took it into note and i've literally just gone in and i would go line by line and just change it out so search engines evolve fast so we know that's the first section so i would do search engines really change fast and then in fact they evolve incredibly fast so then i would just change google says they change their algorithms over 2000 times per year so as you can see i would just continuously go line by line and you don't have to do every single line like i am you could skip over lines just change in words but really you just want to hit 60 percent so at the end of the day here jordan uh the best article spinner you do not need to invest money in article spinning software in my personal opinion a manual spin sentence by sentence paragraph by paragraph will bring you better and optimal results it's just better now if you want to use a free tool after you rewrite or you just want to go and grab some content and just spin it quick and throw it up on a web 2 that's perfectly fine there's no need to invest money now with that being said have i used a article spinner in the past yes i have what tool would i use for the lowest amount of money was i believe it was called spinner chief or article spinning chief that's the one that i've used in the past i've also used the best article spinner any spinner is perfectly fine but not for money content only for web 2 content and i prefer a manual spin over any tool that's out there irrelevant of the tool they're all equal to me they're below a rewrite and that is going to wrap up today's video on article spinning article rewriting in 2020 my name is chris palmer if you have any questions just like this please leave it in the comments if i feel that other people could benefit from your seo question i will be more than happy to make a video if not i will answer the question in the comments and if you want to reach out and you have a facebook question digital marketing seo local seo anything please leave it in the comments i look forward to seeing you in the next seo article spinning video have a wonderful day